Okay, with this video, I'm hoping to give you a little bit more insight into the impingement tests, but also the Faber test. So um, first and foremost, if we're looking at FAI, you're looking at the anterior and the superior aspect of the femoral neck. That's where your cam lesion would occur. Anterior and superior would be your pincer lesions, um, and obviously, in between the two would be the anterior superior variant on both of these. So if we look at the FADIR test, so I'm going to bring this person up. I'm going to bring them into an internally rotated position, and I'm going to then drive them into further flexion adduction. If you look anterior portion of the femoral neck, anterior superior portion of the acetabular labrum, those approximate. So that's what that test is looking for. If I kind of change the angle, I'm a little bit more superior. If I now look at more of that pure uh, flexion, adduction, uh, internal rotation just to here, so the anterior impingement test, not the fadir, but the anterior impingement, same thing, but I'm now hitting more towards that anterior acetabulum. Um, now this is not, unfortunately pure just because of this, but you would have an internal rotation which would bring the anterior aspect of this a little bit more towards that versus inferior, so I apologize. Now, if we look at the posterior impingement, um, here I'm still looking at the superior aspect of the neck, and then I'm now I'm looking at the uh, posterior aspect of the acetabulum. Here I'm going to abduct, I'm going to externally rota uh, rotate, and then I'm going to push them into more extension. Now you'll see that this will approximate now with the posterior aspect of that uh, joint. So you end up driving into a posterior impingement position. Now the Fitzgerald, if you watch what happens with the femoral neck across the uh, acetabular rim going the full way around, I'll start posterior and then I'm gonna go more in a superior posterior, superior, and then a superior anterior, and then if I come purely across, I go into that anterior impingement. So the idea is I'm kind of scouring around or scanning around the entire acetabular rim with that Fitzgerald where you go from this position, posterior to anterior. Now, we have to be cognizant of the location of complaints. If I'm thinking posterior, labral tear or impingement, I should have posterior pain. If we're thinking superior, I would have likely lateral or a pinch that's right in the crease of the hip. And then if I go into anterior, I'd have anterior pain, maybe some anterior lateral pain uh, with the hip, with the impingement testing. So those are your impingement tests. The next one is that Faber test. Uh, in my notes, for some reason, I had that linked to FAI. It should be labral tear, not FAI. So if we watch here, if I bring that leg here and I bring this skeleton into this AB ducted, externally rotated position, if anything, the distance between that acetabular rim and the femoral neck is increasing. So if I'm thinking anterior is the problem, uh, I'm going to have more of the type of pull on that labral tear where it is representative here, distal part of my finger. That would be the labrum. This would be the acetabular rim. This finger is going to be the capsule. This finger, the thumb, is going to be the femoral head. If I um, start to rotate it, I'll end up pinching the very end of that labrum, and over time that results in this tear. So it's not from getting jammed, it's getting from more traction or sheared. Now, the other thing to point out, and we mentioned this in class, is when I drop down into this position, I am approximating the posterior side. So it's possible that I am getting a posterior labral test with the Faber uh, test. Uh, so it is important to think about the location of complaints. Remember, specificity of this test is very poor. So I wouldn't use that as my only reason for suspecting this person has a posterior labral tear, a labral tear in general or anything. It really ideally is just used to say, does it seem like it's hip or not? 
Uh, and that would probably be your best use. So I hope that helps you guys understand what I was trying to explain. I hope the visual helps a lot of you guys. Uh, if not, please let me know and I will uh, try something else. All right. Have a good one.